welcome to Little Learners. In today's video I'm going to be showing you some ways that you can help your child learn to write. Writing is so much more involved than just learning letters and how to write them. Pre-writing is just as important. Getting those muscles working in the hands with fine motor activities, drawing, colouring and eventually moving on to writing letters and words. So here are some really easy and fun activities you can do with your children at home. So first of all, let's take a look at this really simple sensory tray. For this, you'll need some kind of tray, but I'm just using the lid of a Tupperware box. I'm then going to make the rainbow mat that goes at the bottom of it, just by cutting strips of different coloured paper, sticking them together with sellotape, and then also using a little bit of sellotape just to attach the paper to the Tupperware lid. Next, I'm going to fill the tray with some flour. This is just regular plain flour from the kitchen, but you can use lots of different things for this. You could use sand, sequins, glitter, anything you wanted. Then, children can use the tray to draw pictures, to reveal the rainbow underneath, and then eventually use the tray to write letters and later words. Don't be afraid to give your children some letters or words to copy. Copywriting is absolutely fine at the pre-writing and early writing stage. This is a really simple, cheap, easy way for children to have a sensory experience while also mark making, which is what we call the aspect of pre-writing. And here you can see we can finish off with actually writing a whole word. Moving on, the second activity is one of my favourites. It's cotton bud painting, or if you want to get really fancy, pointillism. Just use some regular paints and some cotton buds and children can make a picture out of them using dots or points. Here I'm going to be making a flower out of different colours. It's really simple and children can completely take their artistic licence with this and make whatever picture they want. If children are finding it a bit hard to do this freehand, you can give them a page of colouring in and they can use the paint to fill it in. And then of course, children can move on to letters and words. You can write the letter or the word on a piece of paper for them to follow. Then they can use the cotton buds and paint to create dots that follow the letters around the way we need to write them. They may need some support with this to begin with. This is also a great way for children just to get to grips with what letters and words actually look like in a slightly different way. The third and final activity that I'm going to show you involves a chalkboard, some chalk and just some water. So first of all, either you or your child can draw a picture with the chalk on the chalkboard. Then with their finger, the children just need to get a bit of water on the end and then they can start to erase the picture by following the lines. This is an almost magical activity because children can't believe how the chalk just disappears. Of course then you can move on to doing this activity with letters and words. Children will be using their finger which will help them to understand and remember the shapes of different letters and how words are spelt. Once they've done this with their finger, you can also move on to using a paintbrush or a paint sponge. Here I'm going to show you the sponge one, but this works exactly the same with a paintbrush. Children may start out just using a fist, which is absolutely fine. Eventually, they will start moving on to using the pincer grip, which is what we normally use when we hold a pencil. And there you have it, three really simple activities you can do with your child at home when they're learning to write. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked this video, please hit that thumbs up button. And if you want to see more videos like this, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And once you're subscribed, you can also click on the bell icon to make sure you get a notification every time I post a new video. The support for Little Learners so far has been overwhelming, so I just want to say a huge thank you to all of the subscribers out there and everyone who is watching my videos. If you're not a subscriber though, you should be. Thank you so much and I will see you next time.